everyone, it's Kino McGregor. We are live for Miami TV on South Beach in Florida at Miami Life Center. So when you're new to the practice of yoga or you're interested in trying, you might not even know where to begin. Yoga, first of all, is much more than just a fitness routine. It's actually a systematic training of both the body and the mind. It gives you a strong mind and a flexible body so that you can experience yourself at your most optimum level. The coordination of breath with movement is at the heart of the yoga method. I practice and teach a style of yoga known as Ashtanga Yoga, which I learned in India. One of the most amazing things about the yoga practice is that it comes from a tradition. So it's not something self-invented or invented yesterday. In fact, it's a time-honored tradition that's more than 5,000 years old. And it's a true spiritual practice that helps you realize the true power and integrity and beauty of your inner being. But it's also a lot of hard work, so we'll give that a shot together. If you want to take the practice with me today, come to a comfortable seated position position and we'll begin with coordination of our breath with our movement. First, draw your attention to your pelvic floor, which is the space between your sitting bones. Put your mind right deep down there in your pelvis and engage your pelvic floor by drawing your sitting bones close together. Then from your belly button down to your pubic bone, find your lower abdominal muscles and pull those into the body. And then a nice long exhalation. Exhale completely and then inhale, making the sound saw as you inhale and ha as you exhale. Nice long inhalation, let the vo vocalize the breath and then exhale. And we're going to do two more of those. Inhale, firm your pelvic floor, saw as you inhale, let your lips be sealed. Exhale, the sound ha as you exhale. Okay, let's give that one more try and then we'll begin to actually apply that to some movement. Inhale, let the breath move deep into the body, keep the belly sucked in. And when you reach the top of the inhalation, then exhale. As your mind comes into contact with the breath, you will experience more peace and more tranquility. Now we'll begin to apply that to some movement. So go onto your hands and knees and roll over to the side. Make your hands shoulder width apart and the knees hips width apart, all right? Now we'll coordinate inhalation with exhalation, moving the spine into extension and flexion. So inhale, let the spine extend and look up to the ceiling. And then exhale, press through the arms, protract your shoulders, pull in the lower ribs, tuck the chin. Inhale, lift the spine, let it be all the way into a nice deep extension. And then exhale, press through the arms, round your back, pull it all the way under. Inhale again, lift the back into a nice deep extension, suck the belly in, let the energy rise up through the spine. And then exhale, push through the arms, curl your toes under. This time we're going to come up into a nice downward facing dog. Reach out through your fingertips, roll the shoulders open, straighten your legs as much as you can. We'll stay here for five breaths. One, let the backs of the knees open. Two, Three, remember to control your breath, sucking in the pelvic floor. The yoga practice is all about coordinating your breath with your movement so your mind can rest in the present moment. And after five breaths, come back down onto your knees and we'll just go through that motion again a little bit faster. Inhale, lift the spine and then exhale, push through the arms, protract the shoulders, curl your toes under, inhale all the way up to downward facing dog. Good. Now that you find yourself in this position, allow your mind to be calm and steady. The breath is long and deep and we're going to challenge the shoulders, all right? So take your gaze and look right here at the space between your thumbs. Then roll your right elbow in and exhale, place it down. Roll the left elbow in and exhale, place it down. This is just making sure the shoulder girdle is nice and strong. Inhale, right elbow. Inhale, left elbow. We're going to do that two more times. Exhale, exhale. Inhale. Inhale, and now exhale right elbow down, exhale left elbow down. Inhale right elbow up, inhale left elbow up. We're going to do the left side. You should feel your arms getting a nice, strong workout. Inhale left elbow, inhale right elbow. Exhale left elbow, exhale right elbow. Inhale left, inhale right, exhale left down, exhale right down. Excellent. Now let's stay here and hold this position for five more breaths. One, Squeeze the elbows towards each other, firm the rotator cuff muscles, tuck your tailbone and flatten your heels if you can. Three, gaze right down at the space between the forearms. Four, and five. Now we're going to test out to see if your shoulders are really strong enough. So inhale, both elbows up. Exhale, melt both elbows into the ground. Inhale, both elbows up. 
exhale both elbows down three more inhale take it up exhale squeeze the elbows towards each other melt into the floor inhale straighten the arms two more times exhale melt into the floor inhale all the way up exhale melt into the floor inhale one more time place your knees down and child's pose let's have just a little rest so whenever you're feeling stressed, you can always rest in child's pose. Give your shoulders a little break. You can see now that yoga is not just about stretching and relaxation, but it's about training the mind and the body to be nice and strong. Okay, let's see if we can take this all the way up into a full plank so your shoulders will be nice and strong. So come on to your hands and knees. Now since the shoulders are warmed up, we're going to see if we can press into the wrists a little bit more. Take your weight forward over your hands, grip your fingertips, inhale, extend the spine to create that length, and exhale, protract the shoulders, push under, flex your spine, round under, firm the lower abdominal muscles, lean your body weight forward, press into the hands, lift your knees, curl your toes under, come to a nice plank posture, we'll hold this for five breaths. Let your gaze be down in between your hands, two. Three, pull the kneecaps into the pelvic floor. Four, and now come up onto your toes, high plank, push into the floor. One, two, three, feel the lower abdominal muscles pulling in, the lower ribs squeeze in. Four, sink back down to your heels, gently walk your feet in between the hands. Inhale, lift your chest, look up, and exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, roll your spine all the way up, come to standing. Now we're ready to begin what's called the sun salutations. This will awaken the solar fire inside of your body so you'll feel increased heat. It's important to warm up your wrists and your back before you try this movement. Your mind will become more steady and strong. So now we're ready to start. Come to the front of your mat. Gaze is straight out ahead, sucking in the low belly. Inhale, raise your hands above the head. Reach high, pressing the palms together. Exhale, suck in the belly as you fold into the hip joints, lower down. Inhale, lift your chest. Look up nice and high and exhale, step your feet back. Take your hands, press them into the ground, shoulders over the palms, just like plank position. And then exhale, bend your elbows, come to a push-up. If you can't do the push-up, put your chest on the ground, but try to keep the arms strong. Then inhale, roll to upward facing dog. And then exhale, roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Five easy breaths here. One. This is your chance to coordinate the breath with the movement to regain that inner state of calm and relaxation. And that is the essence of the practice. Three. Long inhalation. Remember, saw on the inhale, ha on the exhale. It'll help you coordinate and regulate your breath. Four. And five, press through the hands, tuck the tailbone under, walk your feet forward in between the hands, lift your chest, look up. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, all the way up, press your palms, reach nice and high. Exhale, come back to standing. Okay, we'll do it again. Inhale, raise the hands, reach them high. Exhale, press through your feet, roll all the way down. Inhale, lift your chest, look all the way up, and exhale, step back, bring the shoulders over the palms, bend your elbows, Chaturanga Dandasana, which is a plank position, like a push-up position, and then inhale, roll forward, lift your chest, and exhale, roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Nice and easy, if you need to readjust, you can readjust, let your feet be hips width apart, shoulders roll open, elbows are straight. Keep the spine supported from the core of the body. After five deep breaths, we're gonna step forward again. So equalize inhalation, equalize exhalation. Let the breath be fluid and deep through the whole body. Four. And five. Look forward, press through the hands. Inhale, walk your feet forward, lift your chest, look up. Exhale, fold forward, go down. Inhale, come all the way up, reach high, and exhale, back to standing. Excellent. That's the foundational principle of coordinating breath with movement to awaken the solar fire, bringing cleansing and purification deep into the body. Now I'd like to add on to that so you can follow me into Sun Salutation B. First, let's rehearse some of the postures that are foundational in that practice. Bend your knees forward and sink into the hip joints, rolling the thighs inward. Then inhale. Press your palms above the head and gaze at the thumbs. Let's hold this posture for five breaths. Feel the alignment through the center line of the body. Squeeze your elbows into each other. Gaze at the thumbs. Three. Four. 
and five. Come all the way back to standing, hands in prayer, hands by your side. This posture is called Utkatasana or chair posture. And as you can see, it's as though you're sitting in a chair. In the next sun salutation, we'll begin each movement from this posture. We'll also add in warrior one or Virabhadrasana A. So let's rehearse that. Step back with your left foot. Align the right heel with the left arch. Hold onto your hips for a moment and then send the right knee forward over the ankle and press down through the left heel. Let your gaze be straight out ahead for a moment, hands in prayer. Pull the lower ribs in and inhale. Raise your hands above the head, gaze at the thumbs. Five breaths like this. One. Press back through the left heel. Two. Nice and steady. Feel the legs really strong. Four. And five. Take your hands back in prayer. Straighten your right leg. Inhale, step forward, back up to the front of your mat. Exhale, step the right foot back. Left heel aligns with the right arch. Hold on to your hips. Send that left knee forward and press back through your right heel. Your legs are your foundation, and they're your connection into that calm, steady flow of mind that is the essence of the practice. So feel your legs working. Let it burn in your thighs, and that's exactly what should happen. Gaze is straight out ahead. Lower belly is sucked inside. Lower ribs are in. And then hands in prayer. Press down through your pelvic floor into your heels. And then inhale, raise your hands. Five breaths. One. Two, gaze at the thumbs, three, firm your thighs, four, and five. Gently take your hands back into the center of your chest, straighten out your left leg, and inhale, come all the way back to standing. Okay, you ready to put the pieces together? Here we go. Bend into your hip joints, hands in prayer, inhale. Take the palms above the head, gaze at the thumbs. Exhale, fold your chest to your thighs, drop your head down, straighten your legs, fold forward. Inhale, lift your chest, look up. This time we're gonna jump back, so it's gonna add a little bit more strength. So flatten your hands, bend your knees, and jump back to that nice plank posture. Keep your shoulders over your palms, and exhale, lower down. Inhale, roll forward to upward facing. Exhale, roll over your toes. Downward facing. Okay, get ready for warrior one. All right, so turn the left foot out. Inhale as you step the right foot forward. Align the right heel with the left arch. Send the right knee forward. Take your hands into prayer position and inhale. Raise the hands above the head. And then exhale, flow through the center line of the body. Hands on the floor. Curl your left toes under. Step back the right and exhale, lower down. Inhale, roll forward to upward facing. Exhale, over your toes, downward facing. Turn the right foot out, then inhale. Step the left foot forward, align the left heel with the right arch. Then bend your left knee forward, press down into your feet. Hands in prayer right at the center. Inhale, raise your hands above your head, gazing at the thumbs. And then press through the legs, exhale, hands back through the center line. Hands to the floor, step back. Come into that nice easy plank position and exhale, lower down, bend your elbows. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale, roll over your toes, downward facing. Equalize downward facing, you made it this far. Long inhalation, long exhalation. Press through your heels, reach out through the fingers. Five breaths here, three. Sucking in the low belly. Do your best to breathe, in and out through the nose, four. And five, look forward. And since we jump back, we're also gonna jump forward. So take a little bend in your knees, firm your shoulder girdle, and inhale, jump forward. Lift your chest, look up. Exhale, fold forward, go down. Bend your knees, send the knees forward. Take the hands into prayer position. And then inhale, raise the hands above the head. And exhale, return to standing. Come back to that neutral position. Excellent, so now we feel a solar fire burning deep in the center of the body. Let's see if we can take that into some movements. Inhale, step out to the right. Externally rotate your right hip joint. We're gonna do Uttita Trikonasana. This is an important posture to establish health in the hip joints and build a strong foundation through the legs. So find your right hip crease. Stretch the arms all the way out as you inhale. And then exhale, bend into the right hip socket as you reach down and just dangle your right arm in the air. We'll take five breaths here. One, be careful not to push down, but dangle the arm so gravity can work on your body. Four, and after you've been here for a while, see if you can reach down and wrap your fingers around that right big toe with the first two fingers, the index finger and the middle finger. Keep your gaze at the left fingers and squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Feel the pelvic floor firm. 
four, keep equalizing your breath, long inhalation, long exhalation, and five, press through your thighs, inhale, come all the way up, you should feel a nice strong activation through the legs, turn the right foot in, turn the left foot out, pause for a moment and just feel stability through the legs, sucking in the belly, inhale, straighten the arms out to the side, this creates length and extension through the shoulder girdle, find your left hip joint, inhale, and as you exhale, bend into the interior space of the left hip joint. Just dangle the arm and gaze at your right fingers, nice and steady. Five easy breaths here. And remember, don't push down on your shin, otherwise you'll just stop the work. Dangle the arm and reach the torso out of the pelvis. Four and five. Reach down and hold on to that left big toe and gaze at your right fingers. Five easy breaths here, three, sucking in the belly, press through the base of your big toes, four, and five, press down, inhale, come all the way up, stretch out your arms, and we'll turn the right foot out again and see if we can take this external rotation of the hips even deeper. So find your hip joints, bend your right knee over the ankle, feel the strength and stability through your legs, then hook your right forearm onto the thigh of the right side. Turn your pelvis open, turn the rib cage open, but keep the lower ribs in. Then inhale, extend the left arm overhead and gaze at the left fingers. Five breaths here, one. If you feel comfortable in this posture, you can actually take it deeper by sending that right knee even more over the ankle. Two, three. And now from here, if you're ready to go deeper, take your right fingers and dangle them in the air on the outside until the fingertips touch the ground. And then exhale, flatten your palm as you sink into your right hip joint. Four. And five, drop the left arm, keep the right knee bent, come up onto your forearm. Then inhale, lift the torso, pause in warrior one for a moment, feel your legs nice and strong. I know your right thigh is burning, just let it burn. That's that fire of purification, making the mind stronger, the body healthier and more light. Four and five, inhale, straighten your leg and we'll turn to the other side. So find your pelvic floor, inhale, exhale, send that left knee forward over the ankle, find that stability, the strength through the legs, then inhale, exhale, bend into the left hip joint, let the left forearm rest on the left thigh, roll the right shoulder forward and gaze at your right fingers, suck the belly in, feel the line of energy moving through your hand, through your shoulder, through your pelvis, down into the earth, through your heels. And if you're ready to go a little deeper, sink down, taking the left knee more over the ankle. Dangle your left fingers, reach them down, and then exhale, flatten that palm into the ground. Five easy breaths here. Press the outer thigh of the left leg into the upper arm of the left arm. Four. And five, roll the shoulder down, press through the left knee, keep it there. I know the thigh is burning, but let it burn. From your pelvic floor, lift your spine, come into warrior one. Five breaths here. Two, press down through the legs. Let your thigh burn, it's okay, you'll get stronger. Four, and five, inhale, straighten the legs, point them all the way forward. Take your hands to your waist, and we're gonna do one nice, easy forward bend. Inhale, lift your head and the chest, and then exhale, take your hands to the ground. Inhale, lift your chest, look up, lifting your sitting bones while supporting it by drawing them together. And then exhale, fold forward. Move the top of the head to the ground. Squeeze the elbows towards each other. Two, pivot your body weight forward to the front of your foot. Every yoga posture is a balance between strength and the activation, while at the same time being balanced by the opposing forces of grace, release, comfort, and ease. Keep your mind in a meditative flow and a calm, steady space. Gaze at the tip of the nose, and after five breaths, inhale, lift your chest, look up. And this time, exhale, we're gonna sink all the way down. I want you to sink into your hip joints and press your palms together, all right? So now we're moving into that deep flexion of the hip joints, and we're gonna take this into a nice strength posture. So press your shoulders into your knees and squeeze your knees onto your shoulders. Five breaths here. One, tuck your tailbone under. Two, three. Four, okay, this is gonna be one of the hardest postures we try. Take your hands forward, come up onto the balls of your feet, lean your shoulders forward and inhale. See if you can come up to balance. Two, give it a shot. Three, lean forward, pull into your core. Four, and five, sink all the way down. Nice and steady, all the way down. 
Good, so that was good work. We'll find the core strength, which is the, one of the most important aspects of the practice. Pull your kneecaps inside and straighten out your legs. Find a full deep inhalation, a full deep exhalation. This is the essence of the strength work in the yoga practice. Five breaths here and then we're done. One, two, three, four. And cross your feet like this, lean forward, pull the knees back, step back to that plank position, lower down. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Look forward, step forward and sit all the way down. So what's important after the end of your yoga practice is that you take rest. So after the show ends, be sure to lie down and close your eyes for a few moments, coming into a deep state of relaxation. Every yoga practice is meant to take you deeper into your own inner awareness. So whenever you're working on a posture, never lose your center or the calm meditative mind that is the essence of the yoga practice. I hope you're inspired to begin your journey into the yoga practice today. And most importantly, enjoy your practice and have faith in yourself through the whole journey. Thank you very much. Namaste.